As Canadians, we tend to think that we know John A. Macdonald. He was the mastermind behind Canadian Confederation. He pushed through the construction of a transcontinental railway, and he wrote much of our Constitution. And yes, he had his problematic side. He drank too much, he accepted bribes, and he hanged Louis Riel. But here are some things that you might not know about John A. Fact number one, he was devoted to his daughter. Macdonald's only daughter, Margaret Mary Theodora Macdonald, was born with brain damage. She was unable to walk, had limited use of her hands, and did not speak clearly. Yet she was bright and had a keen interest in what was going on around her. John A. was very fond of her and called her Babu. He read to her and involved her in many aspects of his life, even making sure she went to Parliament so that she could hear him debate. Fact number two, he was distant to his son. John A. Macdonald's only surviving son, Hugh John Macdonald, was successful in his own right, earning a law degree, becoming a federal cabinet minister, and being elected the eighth premier of Manitoba. Yet father and son were never close. John A. was frequently absent and had little to do with the raising of his son. When Hugh's mother, Isabella Clark, died, the seven-year-old boy was sent to live with John A.'s sister and her husband. When Hugh began working at his father's law office, the two got into a row over Hugh's choice of a wife. Letters between them show John A. to be gruff and unforgiving. Fact number three, John A. was traumatized as a child. When MacDonald was seven years old, he witnessed the violent murder of his five-year-old brother, James Shaw MacDonald, by a drunken male babysitter. The man had dragged both children to a tavern in Kingston, Ontario, where he forced them to drink gin. The young John A. took his little brother's hand and fled from the tavern. The childminder caught up with them and beat James so hard that he died. No one was ever prosecuted for the murder. John A. did not speak of this horrific event until his twilight years, when he revealed it to his private secretary, Joseph Pope. Fact number four, he was flirtatious around women. John A. was a notorious ladies' man. Mercy Coles, the unmarried daughter of Prince Edward Island's premier, wrote in her diary of Macdonald's obvious attempts to charm her during the Quebec Conference of 1864. Princess Louisa, the dazzling wife of the Governor-General, was another object of his attention, much to the chagrin of his plainer-looking wife, Agnes. And he was very fond of Eliza Grimison, a widowed tavern keeper in Kingston. Interestingly, no letters survive of correspondence between Agnes and John A. It's suspected that Agnes destroyed them. Fact number five. He eventually got his drinking under control. Stories of MacDonald's public drunkenness are legendary. His drinking binges caused him to neglect his duties for days at a time. By his 60th birthday, however, his drinking was under control. Lord Dufferin noted in 1877 that MacDonald could drink wine at dinner without being tempted to excess. The last reported lapse into public drunkenness took place in 1878, 13 years before his death. <laughs>